Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And we want more. So much more. A lot more. New Balance, more Trail V3. Which is a little bit confusing because there's a more V4, which is just a standard road shoe, but we're still, we're one behind on this. So you may have seen the first impressions video that we did with Megan. I told you I'd be back here with Robbie. Robbie and I took it out on the trails, ran the most serious trails that we could find, the Patapsco Valley trails. We got technical stuff, roots and rocks. We got creeks, we got mud, we got roads. Trails. Gravel. We already said trails. That's what I meant, gravel. Yeah. Fire roads. So it's a good mix of stuff. Just oh, everything. Decent amount of elevation, at least for out here. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a nice nice testing ground for some shoes. Let's start with talking about the upper and everything like that, Robbie. Actually, you know, before we start, let's say how good does this shoe look? I remember when we went to the running event and you saw this and you were like, Nah. Yeah, I was like, mm, tractor beam, suck me right in. I mean, I like the design. I like the New Balance lettering here, just the name. Like, there. like the classic? Although they are coming out, I think they're Gray Day, which is, I'm not sure, it might be out by the time this is, mm -hmm. video comes out. They're releasing a classic like N on the side I here, like that. Which is also pretty sweet. But on this one, mm -hmm. we're going with just the name. Yeah, I love that. I love the details, the kind of wrap around bumper that we got here for the toe yeah. and the sides. And that's usually where a trail shoe will blow out. So I think it serves a purpose, not just for looks. It does say toe protect on it. So yeah. it tells you what it's doing. Let's protect them toes. Yep, it has this nice stitched in pool tab with a teeth, all terrain. It has this like rubbery sandpaper little bit back here. I don't know, I just like all the little details on this shoe. Okay, so we got a engineered mesh upper, some comfort, pretty comfortable all around I'd say. This is definitely a comfort trail shoe. Now one of the things I had a problem with in the more V4 road shoe was I felt like it ran a little big. I think the sizing was, you know, a smidge off. Mm -hmm. And so I went with a size down and it fit perfect. This one, my foot, 10 and a half, fits in this shoe and it's true to size, feels great. I did have to, you can see right here on the uh, top, mm -hmm. I cinched it down quite a bit. Super comfortable upper. If anything, when I'm looking down this upper, Robbie, did it not kind of have an ultra profile to it? I don't know if I go that far, but I know I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, it's a little bit of a wider toe. It's a little boaty looking. And the more trail kind of, has always had that look, even the last, uh, the second version. Uh, I think this one's improved over the last two versions by a lot. So again, like you said, that plushness in the upper, the tongue is pretty thick and padded, so you're not gonna feel the laces there at all. I felt like it actually was a nice fit overall. You have a decent amount of room in the toe box, but not too much. And then just like a nice fit through the, through the midfoot as well. Yeah, I was happy with the fit. You were happy with the fit. Meg was happy with the fit. That's kind of a wide range of feet right mm -hmm. there yeah. from our group. So I guess we can move on to the midsole here, which I mean, there's a lot of it now. Fresh foam. Yeah, fresh foam, fresh foam X, X. whatever. Everything's got an X. It does. Let's start with another letter. Let's start doing, let's, what would be in a good, good another letter that we could do? I don't know, there aren't many letters that go as hard as the X. That's the only problem. K? Z. What about K? Yeah, K's pretty good. Z's kind of cool. I don't know. All right, let's, anyway. Maybe we should invent some more letters. I like that. Uh, Chirons. So we get down, we got all this fresh foam. Now, allegedly, this is a dual density fresh foam. New Balance told us straight to our face that it is a dual density. You had a bet it. with Megan, you didn't believe it. I didn't believe it because I don't feel it. I don't, I'm sa same here, I don't either, but. If I'm, this is dual density, I don't know. Okay. It, the reason it feels dual density to me is these massive lugs on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, there's not a real se separation where the paint is, you know? So I'm not sure where the actual density that dual density comes from, so. So what's the stack height on this midsole? Pretty high, so we got 40 in the heel and 36 in the forefoot. Four millimeter drop. Yeah. And it kind of has that rocker shape to it. It's also higher on the outside here, so it looks a lot higher than 40 even, But and your foot does sit down inside of it. I like to degree. say like a canoe. So it's nice because it does provide a little bit extra stability in that way. Yeah. Um, I think the real thing that gives you the most stability, so don't be afraid of the stack height, was look how wide this base is. It's pretty uh, pretty wide. It's giving you a lot of surface area it's to massive. land on. You know, with my ankles, it was nice having a high stack shoe that you didn't feel unstable in. I mean, Like you had to balance on? 
Yeah, and even you can see it comes out wider than the actual shoe, especially in the heel area. So it, was, it almost gives you that feeling where you can just kind of roll over anything, roots, rocks. And this feels like one of those things that you can just roll over any terrain. And I feel like we did today. There was nothing that we ran on that I felt like this didn't handle well. The lugs on here were the five millimeter lugs. Five millimeter lugs. Basically. A Vibram rubber. Yeah, Vibram rubber. We had some nice muddy sections that they kind of just dug into, no problems there. I will say, I don't think it was as sticky as some of the more, some of the Vibram outsoles I've tried when it was coming to creek crossings. And it's, you do have a bit of an exposed midsole here that doesn't exactly help with that so yeah when I was going I felt like the teeth were there I actually went through some of the mud spots on purpose it really felt good on the trails it reminded me of one other shoe that we also gave high marks to the Trabaco Max 2 from Asics and this have a very nice high stack cushion ride that I think just feels awesome on the trails it's hard to say which one I like more I do feel like this is you sit down a little bit more I didn't feel it shifty in this it has a more structured upper too, more built up upper than the uh, Trabuco. And now I will say this is a lighter shoe, so it does, This uh, we should give the weight. The more v Trail V3 is 11.8 ounces, 334 grams. For a size 10 and a half. Right, so which is still, I mean, we're talking almost 12 ounces, so it's pretty substantial. I think they're both pretty comparable as far as the way they roll kind of over everything on the trails. Yeah, this would be a tough call between these. I think if you had a wider foot, you're definitely gonna wanna go with the more shoe over the Trabaco Max. I was telling Robbie, we've done a couple ultras in the past. If I had to pick one, for uh, an ultra, this is the style of shoe I'm gonna go with. I like the stack, the comfort. When we went on the pavement, and tell me there isn't an ultra out there that you don't end up running on either some hard pack mm -hmm. or pavement, where sometimes if you have a thinner midsole with aggressive lugs, yeah. you really feel that. Where in this one, I felt like it was pretty impressive on the road. And I think it's because there's so much cushion in here, you didn't really feel the lugs underfoot, it just felt somewhat just felt comfortable. Again, it's a little bit heavier. I don't think, I think the cushion and the comfort kind of makes up for that, so. Yeah, it does have a bounce with that Fresh Foam X. So that really helped on the trails to feel lighter on the foot mm -hmm. than its actual weight. And the price on this, I think is pretty fair. Yeah, it's $160. I mean, just for a aesthetically pleasing shoe, I don't even know, even if you don't wear it for trails, I, I think they're sold out of the white colorway already or close yeah. to it because people are just I really, picking it up as a style shoe. I know you <laughs> like this green one, but the, the one that Megan had that was all white, we can show pictures of it here. That one really spoke to me as far as looks wise. I know that there's some other colors that we saw at the running event that I was really excited about, but if you like this one, it, I mean, it's just, it, the shoe feels great on the foot, it rolls. All right, Robbie, let's have some green in the midsole. What are you gonna rank it? Same. Green light for this one. I'd have to give it a green light too. Yeah, and I was pretty surprised by this. I'm not typically a huge Max Cushion shoe fan. Like, I, I feel like the road version of the more, I was like neither here nor there on, but it is nice having that on the trails. I would really like the fit of it, the ride of it, just everything in general is pretty nice. Definitely be taking this out some more. I really like the way that my legs felt fresh after the run and there was a extensive climb at the end that has to go over some road terrain that I was a little worried about how this would feel on the road with five millimeter lugs, but it handled it really well. My legs felt great. I really, I always felt secure wherever we were going, downhill, uphill. It really did a great job. Sometimes you'll get a trail shoe that seems like, oh, they just slap some trail stuff on a road shoe. For some reason, I don't think they did that with this. I feel like this is actually a more, a trail version of the more, yeah. which is nice. They definitely, the, with the bumpers and the, and the protection on the toe, some of these things like the pull tab and this rustic feeling rubber on the back end is gonna protect the shoe, protect your foot. Um, anything else we have to say? I don't know, I think we should tell people that if they enjoyed this review, they can follow us on Instagram, subscribe here, check out our email, listen to the Drop Podcast, listen to the Fuel for the Soul. Mm -hmm. Robbie, am I forgetting anything? Oh, what about your, did I, we, I, said email, I said email, I said email. Email is the best way because you get Robbie is a phenomenal writer. I don't know if you know this about him, wow. but like he's basically the Picasso of the literature these days and uh, maybe the modern Shakespeare. Wow. Okay. And you get a little note from him at the end of every email. Gotcha. Plus everything that we reviewed that week 
is in that email. Yeah, you know how Shakespeare just wrote emails for... He did a lot of shoe reviews, reviews back then. Shoe reviews Ye reviews. leather boot, how <laughs> disgusting. Uh, yes. Yeah. You Perfect. have let me down. That was one of his, I think that was in The Tempest, actually. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, the original name of that was Tempest V2. Hmm. And then he was like, well... The Saucony Tempest V2? Yeah, <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks. That's it. Thank <laughs> you.